Now let's take one of our best sellers, this hoodie, as an example. Now, as you've probably noticed, that there are several icons displayed over here. Like always, you can resize and reposition it. At the right top, here's our crop feature, which allows you to cut the image you uploaded the way you want. And rotate. I know we had this already, but we've made it way much easier if you feel like rotating vertically or horizontally by clicking these two buttons or input the exact degrees you want it to rotate to. Well, if you don't like the changes you've made, this icon displayed over the laptop will do the magic. One easy click makes your profile go back to what it looks like in the first place. And moving on, you know what this is for. Now let's see. Oh, you know you can change the background color, right? But instead of changing colors on a separate canvas, you are able to do it by just one click now. Apply all. On top of it, if you feel like consistent color, this color picker is right for you. You know sometimes how frustrating it can be just placing your profile to the exact position you want it to be, but just can? Like right in the middle? Well, now we got it fixed by adding this grid line feature so that you can better position an align. To align center or align middle, just hit these two buttons. Okay, now let's upload some other images and see what we've done with layers. Yes, now you can drag layers. Quick and easy. Or by right clicking on the file, you can either send backward, send to back, bring forward, or bring to front. Other than layers adjusting, by right clicking, you can also choose copy, paste, or cut and paste. Moreover, shortcut keys like Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl X also enable you to quickly copy, cut, and paste. And now move your mouse to this little keyboard icon. And there we go. All of our applicable shortcut keys displayed over here. So we have move, delete, copy, cut, and paste. And finally, one thing I know you guys have been complaining about is that we don't have undo option, but that's the history now. Either click undo at the bottom or press shortcut keys, control Z to do it. Now let's make a few detail adjustments and well, looking not good. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching and please comment down below. Let us know if there is any other features you want us to add.